everyone, my name is The Dreaming Gamer, and I am back with another Stardew Valley Mod Showcase. Today, I'm going to be looking at three mods that I think are essential if you are playing a modded Stardew Valley. So let's get right to it. So the first mod I want to talk about is Look Up Anything by Pathos Child. Now, with all mods, as anyone who's dove into modding knows, you also have to have Sampy. It's the Stardew Valley mod pack that allows the mods to be able to run. Now, that is also developed by Pathos Child. But what Look Up Anything is, is let's say you you are wandering around and you're wondering about this tree. Oh, what information can I get from the tree? With a press of F1, it pulls this up. See, it tells me that it's an oak tree. It's a tree. Growth stage is fully grown and has seed. No. And you just press escape. And the same with the... See? With the vegetables. Potato. It's a vegetable, a widely cultivated tuber. It tells you when, when it'll be harvest, what the crop is, uh, if it's been watered, fertilizer, what it's needed for, who likes it, and what recipes and dye it can be used. And it's not just used on vegetables and plants it's also used on people as well see like if i do f1 on me it tells me my name jake i'm a uh i'm male blueberries is my farm my map is a beach farm my stat it also tells me my luck as well now let's go see if we can find someone to talk to so i can showcase the other aspect of look up anything so i'm here at, with Pierre, and so we're gonna go, hold my cursor over him and press F1, and see, it tells me about him. So his name is Pierre, he's a villager, his birthday is spring 26. Uh, I cannot romance him, so is my friendship level. Have I talked to him, have I gifted him, have I given him this week? And then it tells me his gifts. This is the main reason why I use this mod, is because it, it takes out all the guessing and all the writing and all the uh, wiki looking to see what gifts they like and what gifts are neutral and what gifts they love and as you can see if i have the item then it shows up as this dark as as a blackout letter that means i have the item but i don't have it with me if i had an item if i had the item with me then it would change color it would be like a, a yellow green but that's pretty much what look up anything is it's a really simple mod that i think is really valuable especially if you're a new player and even if you're an old veteran, because especially with all the updates that keep coming, you can just press F1 and just gain that information. Alright, for my next mod, I'm going to be talking Info Sweet by C. Dargon. 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 <laughs> um, this mod, you could probably have already figured out what this, what this mod is if you watched, if you watched up to this point, because... You can see them up in the top right corner that the, I have these little icons up here. See, today's recipe, the traveling mudson in town, Lewis's birthday, what my luck is. This is all stuff that's added by the UI Info Suite. So UI Info Suite is a really good companion mod. Instead of instead of going over here and clicking on Queen of Sauce and learning the recipe, or going here and getting the fortune teller and getting this bag, or in good humors today, I think you'll have an extra luck. You can just hold it over and, and it'll tell you feeling lucky but not too lucky. You also notice when I used the, when I learned stir fry, the icon disappeared. It also tells me about birthdays. It also shows me my levels down here and how far I have to go. So like that's farming, mining, fighting, foraging. And then another aspect that it adds is that if you hold, see, parsnip in one day. So in one day that parsnip will be ripe. Parsnip ready to harvest. Blue jazz, blue jazz, kale. See, you hold your cursor over it, and it tells you what it is. This is really useful for when you when you plant your farms and say you it's the end of the harvest or the beginning of the harvest, and you're just kind of throwing it all together. You can still be able to tell them apart. Now, if you if you plant it out, then that's fine. And for those of you that's worried about the mystery seeds. You don't have to worry about those. Those will always show up as the basic season fruit or veggie when you first hold your cursor over it. So, like, if I planted a mysterious seed now, it would just say it's a, pars it's a parsnip, even though it's not a parsnip. 
it can grow up and it can grow to be something else. Now, another aspect of, of UI InfoSuite, which I think is probably the most valuable, have you ever been wandering around in Stardew Valley and, th and wondered where someone was? Well, now we have this. Now it shows you where the people are and it's not like a general accurate pinpoint where they are, but it at least shows you the general idea. See, like Elliot's on the beach. Leah is probably in her house, actually. Um, and it tells you what time it's open. The Pam is over here, Jojo Mart. It actually adds a whole lot to the game in the form of this UI info suite. See, just shows level up, experience bar. Just adds a whole bunch of stuff to the game. That just makes the it just makes it a little bit easier to read and more information to, to, to digest. It makes the information just, yeah, just a little bit easier to digest. So for this next mod, now with Look Up Anything and UI Info Suite, those are additions to the game that really improve the game. But this next mod could even be called cheating. And I can completely understand if you do not want to... If you do not want to use it or I'm not interested in it, if you're not, you can just send the video here. But this is called Time Speed by Cantor's Dust. Time Speed alters the way time flows in the game so that you, it, f it takes a bit longer for stuff t for the time to change and also allows you to control the time. As you can see, I can adjust the time with the less than and greater than signs down by your spacebar. You can make it so that 10 minutes feel like a second and then time just goes on or you can increase it. I think the highest it goes up is, I thought it used to be 20, but we'll see right there. Now I'm at 62, 63. You probably just keep increasing it as long as you want to make the most amount of time. Another advantage that this game has is by pressing N, you stop time. So as you can see, the time up here in the corner, the time is flashing. That means time is stopped. It means it's not it's not going to move. This is really good, especially if you are in the mines and you overestimated your time, and you are almost out of time. This is a really good thing to do to just freeze time and then rush back. And then by pressing B, time returns back to normal. So if you mess up, say, see, it's back to its regular. It's back to its regular time. So, I, like I said, I can completely understand if you do not want the mod, if you are not interested in this mod. Because it can feel like cheating, but if this is your sort of thing, then I definitely recommend it. Okay, everyone. So, those are the three mods that I think are essential. There's more mods that I think are important, but I think those are the three mods that are, like, absolutely necessary if you are beginning your journey into Stardew Valley. Now, the original game itself is incredible, but what the modders are able to do as well has also been incredible and it's really good that the creative Stardew Valley has been so supportive of the modding community because in that way we can get some really good mods. But that is the end of this video so I want to thank you guys for watching um, and remember as long as you made one person happy then the day was not a waste.